these lucky couples to win the vacation of a lifetime to one of the shopping capitals of the world, like Rome, Paris, New York, London, or Hong Kong. On the wildest shopping game ever, Shop Till You Drop. And now here's the host of Shop Till You Drop, Pat Finn. Hello to our studio audience, good group here today. I hope you're doing great at home. Welcome back into our mall here on our show. And a special welcome to our contestants. First of all, Carolyn and Raul, you guys are married. Yeah. Now, how do you know each other? How did you meet? We met in high school. Originally, we were teacher's aides for the same teacher. So you've clapped erasers together, you guys. <laughs> That's right. Good, good to have you guys here. Now, Chris and Amy, now, didn't I, you're engaged, but didn't I read that you're also, you also met in high school? Well, Amy was in high school. I was the wrestling coach. She happened to be the team manager. And a year later, we started dating. and. Now we're gonna get get that year later. It makes it legal then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck to both teams on our show here today. You two won the toss. You get to go first. Ready? Please come right over here. Come right here and let me tell you about this. And if you want, you have the right to pass at this point in the game. Now, we call this stunt No Marks. Over here, we have a grid made of numbered rows and then different colored columns, as you can see. On each position is a picture of a product from our mall. In front of us here, we have two different dice. On one side, we have uh, different numbers. and On the other one, we have colored faces. Now, in a moment, you're going to be rolling one of the dice, which will give us a position on the board. Your job will be to guess the price of that product in that particular position. Now, if you can come within $10 of the actual price, you'll hear this. Otherwise, you're going to hear this, and that means we'll put a mark on that square. Well, actually, we're going to be putting a photo of mark on that square. If you can successfully price five products without getting three marks, you win the stunt. What do you think? Pass or play? We're pass. going to pass. You're going to pass? Okay, head over there. Carolyn Raul, right over here, please. I'll give you the numbers, give you the colors. We'll get Mark out here. All right, let's see the marks that we're putting up there. Very, very nice picture there, Mark. I love that guy. Looks like the young Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, this is like my little brother. <laughs> Are you ready? Hey, what do you mean the young Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> <laughs> ready, set, and give a spin here. Okay, we're coming up with a yellow six, Mark. Yellow six. So all that right. brings us all. No, we wouldn't put that on there until they take a guess. What do you think is the price of this product right down here, this hair dryer? $20. $20 is exactly right. Give them a yellow one. Spin again. Okay, that's a five blue. So blue, one, two, three, four, five, takes us to right here. That's a sandwich maker. What would you say with that? Sultan sandwich maker. $28. 28, it's actually 20, but that's within 10, so you get another yellow. All right. Three more of those and you'll do it. Roll the dice one more time. Two blue. Two blue brings you over here to this Lucy doll. What do you think? Uh, $40. What do you say? Uh, $40. $40? $40. $40 is exactly right. You guys are doing really great. We haven't used the mark yet. I can't give these away. <laughs> roll again. Okay, that's a five blue. So that brings yeah. us down to we a space did. you're already on, so roll again. This time you're a four, four yellow. Four. Okay, it's that thermos right there, thermos bottle. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. It's nine dollars. Close enough. So you get right. the circles. You seem to be within ten dollars. One more yellow circle and you'll do it. That's a six yellow. Six right. yellow yeah. takes us. Yeah. Okay, roll again. And now blue, you have a six, six blue. blue, which is the bracelet at the bottom. Quickly. Thirty-five. Fifty. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. It's actually a ten-dollar bracelet. Put oh. a mark hey. on there. Right, I got to see the face on the bottom. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> At least I'm there. Hard imitation live. <laughs> Yellow three. $20. You're watching, man. Don't make me come over there. Yellow three, that black and black and iron. iron. What do you say? Twenty three dollars. It's actually twenty dollars. That means you want this stuff. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good for you. We have just earned a hundred points. And you get to go shopping at our mall. Don't forget, one of the stores has today's shopper special. You get that store, and you'll also get a mini vacation. Okay. Now, what store would you like to Gadgets pick? Gadgets and Gizmos. All right, Gadgets and Gizmos it is. So for you, a VCR. Mark? That's right, Curtis Mathis Remote Control VCR. Fully programmable and backed by the best warranty in the industry. Put quality in your home today from Curtis Mathis. Retail value, $329. Good for you. Nice prize. Amy and Chris, we have your stunts, so please come with me. 
Whenever you pass, you automatically get the next one. So this one is yours. Now, many slang expressions use clothing to describe people. She's a shoe-in, or he's a loafer, for example. Now, in this stunt, Amy, we're going to ask you to describe yourself in just that way, because on our table here, we have five sets of women's products. Now, a moment ago, we asked your partner there, Chris, to tell us which one of each three would best describe you. When I say go, I'm going to show you the first group of products. You tell me the one you think he picked, and I'll place the name on the tile in the front, and then we'll go on to the next one. And if you can guess three of his choices correctly, you win the stunt. Okay? We'll start here at this end as we're talking about shoes. Did he say you were pumps, sneakers, or mules? What do you think? Sneakers. You said sneakers? Okay, we'll place that in front. We'll go on to the next one here. Did he say your uh, baby doll, pajamas, or a nightgown? Baby doll. You say baby doll? Okay, put that out front here. Next one we have here for the lingerie, the undergarments, a bustier, bra, or a teddy? Bra. You say bra, we'll put bra out front right there. Why don't you come on down here with me as we go to the next one here. Did he say your straight legs when it comes to jeans, cutoffs, or baggies? Straight legs. Okay, straight legs on this one. And finally, the last one we have right here with the hosiery, you say your tights, black stockings, or support hose? Tights. You say tights? Yeah. Okay, we'll put that right here, and we'll work our way back. You need to get three out of five right. Stay right here, and we'll just kind of go back together here as we work our way up and see if you can get three of these correctly here. First of all, we're talking about the stockings. Uh, what did you say she was, Chris? Tights. You said tights. Tights is right. That's one. Next one. As we come here to the jeans, do you remember what you said she was? I said baggies. He, he said baggies. No, so we can't give you that one. And you can deal with him on that a little later on in the show. Okay. Lingerie, did he say, uh, did you say bra, teddy, or bustier? I said teddy. I'm looking forward to our honeymoon, I guess. <laughs> okay, can't give you that one. That means you need the next two right in order to do this. With sleepwear. Pajamas, nightgown, or baby doll? I said nightgown. And baby, oh, sorry, I can't do that one. Let's take a look at the last one. What did you say she was on the sneakers. shoes? You said sneakers. You had that one right, but not close enough. Back here to center court. No points there, but you'll get your chance to get more points in a moment. In fact, what we're going to do is double the point values for the stunt, so that means, of course, at least double the fun. And that happens after this here on Shop to Your Drop. Chris, nothing yet, but you've got plenty of time here because stunts are now worth 200 points apiece. This time, Carolyn and Raul, you have the right to go first. So right over here. Stay right here. You also have the option to pass at this point in the game if you want. Now, too much shopping makes your head spin. Now, relax, because today we're going to make the product spin instead as we do this. Because over here we have our special Shop to Your Drop product accelerator, as you can see. In a moment, we're going to place a product on the wheel, and we're going to give it a spin. Now, each time it passes by that doorway there, you'll get a brief glimpse of it. And all you have to do is tell me what that product is. If you're right, we're going to go on to the next product. Otherwise, you'll just keep guessing. And if you can correctly identify four products in one minute, you'll win the stunt. What do you think? Pass or play? We're going to pass. pass. All right, back over there. <laughs> about his fair play. Amy, you'll stand here. Chris, you'll be right behind her. Look directly into the doorway here. You're gonna need to move quickly. We'll put one minute on the clock. Mark is back there to help you out. Ready, Mark? I'm ready. Set, and give the first one a spin. What is that? The, huh? clock. the clock. Clock is right, that's one. Okay. Next one, what is this? Can opener. Can opener is right, very good. Remember, the quicker you get it, the quicker we can go on to the next one. And you have a minute on the clock. What is this? It's a mug. A mug Coffee is mug. right. That's three. One more right and one more set. What is this? What the heck is that? It's red, it's pink, it's... It's, it's a juicer. juicer. A juicer is right. You did it. Very good. Thanks, Mark. Good job, you guys. See, you just earned 200 points. Now you can shop in our mall. What stores like to go to? Greenhouse. The Greenhouse. That means for you, we have some outdoor furniture. Mark? That's right. Sirocco's 11-piece sturdy resin outdoor furniture set, including an extension table, four chairs, umbrella and base, two side tables, plus two chaise lounges. Made in America by Sirocco. Retail value, $500. Great. Carolyn Raul, it's the final stunt, and it's yours. 
All right, let me tell you about this and why we have our celebrity couples here. Why don't you just stand back a little bit so everybody at home can also see those couples. Now, relationships aren't always easy, but some days you're June and Ward Cleaver, and then other days it seems like you're more like, well, Peg and Al Bundy, right? On either side of our partition, we have identical photos of celebrity couples. We have Maury Povich and Connie Chung, Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. We have Tom and Roseanne Arnold. Down here, Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson, and Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson, and Linda and Paul McCartney. Now, in a moment, Raul, you'll take your place on the other side of the partition. Carolyn, you're going to be standing right here on this side, and then when I say go, I'm going to ask you a question about your relationship. And you pick the celebrity couple you think best describes you two in that regard. Uh -huh. Then we'll go on to the next question. <laughs> and if you can match answers on four questions, you'll win the stunt. Okay. Okay? Okay. Right. You're right here, Carolyn. You're Raul, okay. you're on the other side. Make sure as you pull them down, you set them on that square up front for everybody to see. You'll need four out of eight right in order to do it. First question, which couple are you most like? Which couple are you most like? Make a choice quickly, please. Not a match. Next one, which couple are you least like? Hmm, not a match. Which couple would you be most fun to party with? Which couple would be the most fun to party with? Not a match, sorry. Next one. Which couple are you most like when you're arguing? <laughs> yeah, you got that one. Which couple would you like to have as your neighbors? That's a match, good. Which couple would you like your kids to turn out like? Not a match on that one. You need the next two right in order to win. What couple's wardrobe would you most like to own? Yes, it's a match. It all comes down to this last question. Listen carefully. What do you think is the most handsome couple? Yes, you did it! Good job! Very good. Back over here to center court. Ooh, right down to the wire. You just earned 200 points. You can shop in our mall. What store would you like to go to? Uh, uh, just, uh, no, 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 no. 24 carats. 24 carats. Our 24, 24 carats is our jewelry store for you. A watch, Mark. The Daniel Ming Valero collection features 18 karat gold finish on stainless steel, accented by semi precious stones and glows with warmth and elegance. From Daniel Ming, retail value $695. And that's not all, because 24 carats have today's shopper special. You're up to the new that's right, Murrieta Hot Springs in beautiful Southern California. Spa treatments, fitness center, and historical natural mineral water. Relax and enjoy Murrieta Hot Springs and Health Spa. Pat? Well, they won that trip. We're going to find out who's going to win the big trip or at least get a chance at it because we're going to have our Shoppers Challenge round coming your way after these messages here on Shop to a Job. So I hope you stay right where you are. Shoppers Challenge round at Shoppers Wrap. Right now, Amy and her fiance Chris have 200 points. Carolyn and her hubby Raul, 300 points. This is our Shoppers Challenge round where I'm going to ask you some questions about products and about shopping. In a moment, ladies, we're going to start with you. As soon as you think you know the answer, just press down on your lockout. I'm going to call out your name. If you're right, you get 50 points. If you're wrong, your opponent gets three seconds to answer the question. Then you'll just switch places with your partner. We're going to do it for a minute and a half, and the team with the most points at the end of this round will go on to shop till they drop. Ladies in the position. And we'll put a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. What is the hole in the top, top of a sewing needle called? Amy. Hi. That's right. Who founded Playboy magazine? Hugh Hefner. Yes, Chris. Hugh Hefner. Correct. From what sea creature do we get pearls? Oyster. Carolyn. Correct. According to Harper's Index, do 19, 79, or 90% of the televisions in America have remote controls? Nin yes, 90. Chris. No, that's wrong. Raul? Uh, 70? 79. Sterling is a classification of what precious metal? Yes, Carolyn. Silver. Right. If you wanted to buy ice cream at the original Ben and Jerry's factory, to what New England state would you travel? Connecticut. Chris. No, that's wrong, Raul. Uh, New Jersey. No, it's Vermont. What day of the week does Thanksgiving always fall on, Amy? Thursday. Right. What type of animal is the cartoon character Speedy Gonzalez? Mouse. Chris. Correct. Bow, neck, and bolo are all types of what, Carolyn? Ties. Right. The products Habitrol and Nicoderm are designed to help you do what? Yes, Raul? Uh, stop smoking. That's correct. The quality goes in before the name goes on is the slogan for what electronics company? 
Amy? Amy? Sonic? No, Carolyn? It's Zenith. What type of 50s skirt gets its name from a breed of French dog, Raoul? The poodle skirt. Correct. Yale, Medico, and Citadel are best known for what security products? Locks. What is the abbreviation for centimeter? Chris? C-E-N-T. No, that's wrong. C-M. That's correct. What round of out of time and Carolyn and Raoul, you're going to start the drive. Let's say goodbye to you guys. You know what's close one. Thanks for being here. You won all that outdoor footage in the next job. Thanks. Can that out in that direction? Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. They're going to get a chance to shop till they drop right after this. Don't go away. Shot job. Congratulations, you guys. Did it? You met in high school. Who was the teacher that you were the teacher aide for together? Do you remember? Anne Maven. Okay. Anne Maven. Well, let's <laughs> say, Biology. Well, let's say hello to Anne here because <laughs> this is how they turned out. Now they get the chance at the big trip here. You have to spend $2,500 in a minute and a half. Okay. Who's buying? Who's exchanging? I'm exchanging. Right. I'm, I'm exchanging. She's buying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raul's running. That's all that counts here. When I say go, okay. you'll open up the first box here, Carolyn. You guys have to decide if you're going to keep the item or exchange it. Raul, if you're going to keep it, run it over to our prize table and then hit that bell. As soon as you hear the bell, Carolyn, open up the next box. Okay. If you exchange something, just leave it at any store in your mall. Bring back the box from that store. Now, in the end, we'll add up the retail value of the prizes. And if they add up to $2,500 or more, you two will win the vacation of a lifetime. To where, Mark? Well, get ready, because you're going to shop till you drop in Florence, Italy. Oh. That's right. From the David to Donatello, from the Pizzi Palace to Il Duomo, you'll savor the treasures of the Renaissance. Then shop the open markets for the leather and handmade paper in Florence, Italy. That? Good luck on that. Remember, one of the stores does have a prize worth over 700 so if you make that exchange, then you're a good chance you'll be going to Italy. Put a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Ready to do this? Ready. Set and go. Good luck. First one, uh, Miller Imports figurine inside. Um, <laughs> Next one, a Vivitar 35 millimeter camera. Okay, next one. John Michael Richardson uh, Royal Thai Jewelry Collection. Keep going. Okay. There's the Andrew uh, Bonnet. There's the mark. There goes the bell. Okay. Uh, you have Giorgio Beverly Hills sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Take those back. Heading up the stairs. Two at a time. Stops right away there at Fun and Games. Three step. Nice jump. A Webster book collection. Oh, Webster book collection. Oh, Who's that? We'll take that back. Okay. Twenty-five seconds left. We'll take back the Ricardo Beverly Hills luggage. The gadgets of this one. Yeah, there's the bell. Very good. You were moving there. Maybe good things come in small packages. A lot of little small boxes. I don't know. We'll see how they do. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can get this You're to $2,500. Okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're trying for the trip to Florence, Italy. We'll start off by talking about the one item that you decided to keep this, this uh, figurine here from Miller Imports. Mark? Well, Miller Imports Armani Collection, hand painted in Italy and designed with intricate detail, saddled with the elegance of classic European sculpture from Miller Import. Well, it's the European sculpture, and you're trying for a trip to Italy, so that's probably why you went for that. <laughs> it's worth $65, oh. however. Oh. Right now, 2,435 to go, as we have five boxes to go. Heidi's Healthy Living. You ran upstairs, and you came back down with this stuff from Gold's Gym, and it's a nice package, too. Mark? Gold's Gym, a leader in fitness for over 25 years. Famous sportswear, fitness accessories, home gym equipment, and nutritional products. Serious fitness from Gold's Gym. And it's a serious price of $400. Yeah. And those are the kind of numbers you'd like to see. $2,035 to go. This box sitting back here is from Andrea's Art Attack, and inside, wouldn't you know it, we have a work of art. Mark. From Scott Art's graphics, Memories Past, a captivating limited edition lithograph reminiscent of an honored American tradition, signed and numbered by renowned primitive artist Jane Worcester Scott. And the retail value on this one is $300. So at this point, you have 17.35 to go. We have three boxes here. We're going to hope for some big prizes yes. here so you guys can win the trip to Italy. Fun and Games is our toy store. And we come back out and I hear an awe from the audience on this pretty doll. Mark? Lee Middleton original dolls, an irresistible collectible Serenity Apples and Spice in her heirloom fashion dress, handcrafted limited edition from Lee Middleton original dolls. 
retail value on this one is $250. By the way, those Webster books, the book collection that you saw along the way, that was worth over $400 when you took that back. <sighs> At that point, you went to 24 Carats, our jewelry store, and maybe it paid off here. As we take a look inside this box, we see that you just won this lovely piece of jewelry. Mark? From the Ross Simons catalog, an elegantly dramatic black onyx ring with diamonds. Set in shining 14 karat gold, distinctive styling from Ross Simons. Retail value on this one is $175. Okay, now no matter what happens, you get to keep all the great stuff that you've won here on the show, including the VCR that you won earlier. You won a great watch. You also won that nice trip to Murrieta Hot Springs. You guys have done a great job regardless. In this last box, we need the retail value to be $1,310 for you guys to win the trip to Florence, Italy. We'll take a look inside and come back out with this air conditioner. Mark? Carrier's new Siesta Room Air Conditioner, designed for cool, quiet, comfort, and easy installation from Carrier, the world's largest air conditioning and heating products manufacturer. One room air conditioner, right, Mark? It's not a whole for a whole house. Yeah, I'm afraid or... it's only one. Okay, well, the retail value on this is $299. Didn't get the trip, but you guys did a great job. It was great meeting you. Thank you for being here. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy all the good stuff that you won here on our show here today. And thanks for being part of our show. And thank you for being part of our show. This is Pat Finn for Mark Wahlberg and the entire Stone Stanley family saying thanks for being part of Shop to Drop, and we'll see you next time.